So guys, I'm off to see Star Wars today, so I'm just doing a very, very quick video using my phone. And it's regarding something which is annoying lots and lots of PC builders and anyone who's got a computer. The prices of SSD storage and memory, of RAM, are the highest they've ever been. And it's quite annoying if you're building your PC because compared to two years ago, the cost of memory is nearly double. Compared to six months ago, I don't know, you know, like for example, the, the RAM that I was looking at today shows you the historic prices on UK Power Picker and um, or UK PC Power Picker and you know, say it was like £360 for this particular RAM back in August, it was like 300 go back another year, it was like 200 so it's nearly doubled in, in like a year and a half, two years and the same thing is going on with a uh, NAND flash with SSDs uh, the prices of SSDs have been going up and this this is kind of bizarre in the tech world I mean we're used to with technology for everything you know prices go down over time because new products are being released etc but the prices of SSDs have been going up the prices of RAM have been going up and the prices of graphics cards have remained high now cryptocurrencies Bitcoin Bitcoin mining and all that kind of thing that ha you know it is a factor it is contributing to this in a little way um, you know, especially with GPUs, apparently when uh, the Bitcoin and what's the other one called, Ethereum or something, when that when that mining settles, we're expecting to see the, the prices of graphics cards dropping because you'll, you'll have all these people that are mining who don't need the cards, they'll start selling them and it'll flood the market and we'll start seeing prices going down. But I was reading there that the prices of SSDs and the prices of RAM, they're going to remain high all the way through 2018, maybe even to 2019. So yes, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, etc. There are a, they do play a small part, uh, as does the Samsung Fire. Samsung, who produce you know a, a lot of these products, they had a big massive factory because of discarded batteries, and the batteries created the fire. It destroyed a huge amount of inventory. Um, but apparently, I've been reading up on this, and, it, and cryptocurrencies isn't just the default answer. You know what? A lot of people are just saying it's because of Bitcoin, but from what I've been reading, the articles I've been reading. It's, it's mainly due to mobile phone use as well. All the mobile phones have been switching from DDR3 to DDR4, so this has increased the amount of DDR4 that is required in the world. So, you know, everyone's got a smartphone and all the new smartphones have got DDR4, and, you know, people are using more storage uh, in their phones as well, which requires more NAND uh, flash storage. So, all of this contributes to why the prices have remained high. Now, as someone who's building the PC, this is obviously infuriating. I was looking at 32 gigabytes of RAM, um, you know, because it helps with rendering and stuff, having a little bit more RAM. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to spend minimum about £300 if I want it new. Here's the thing, second hand, the prices are still high. You know, second hand, I'm not even going to save that much. And, um, for example, CEX, who are known for their uh, sneaky ways. I purchased RAM about five or six times this week from CEX, try to use my vouchers, and every single order was cancelled almost immediately. And the reason being, the people in the store realise that they're selling RAM undervalued. So what they're doing is buying it themselves and then selling it on eBay at you know close to full price. So it's impossible to actually buy RAM at a decent price used from CEX and other stores because they realise that the prices are high. Um, and it's the same with graphics cards, you know, the, the prices remain high, even for cards about a year ago. And it's the same for flash storage. So it's a little bit infuriating if you're building your PC, um, you know, instead of spending like £150 on RAM, I'm going to have to spend 300 Now, one option for me is to, you know, maybe just wait. So, what, you know, maybe I could just get 16 gigabytes just now, and then in a year, I could then upgrade. But... It's one of those things, you don't want to hold off for forever. Um, I've spent a little bit more money than I wanted to, just because in the PC market prices are always going up and down, but as far as memory, as far as uh, SSD storage goes, um, I don't think these prices are going to change for another year or so. We're going to see the same trend of you know pricing maybe going up, or at least staying at the same level. And until the, the mining and Bitcoin uh, and your Ethereum and all that, until that becomes not, not profitable for them to mine, um, then the graphics cards are going to remain expensive as well. It's very, very infuriating, but apparently that is the case. 
I hope you all have a fantastic week out, uh, <laughs> weekend, a fantastic weekend. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think about all this. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are more clued up on me than me about this, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care, guys. Cheers.